Well, at least from a fan's perspective, the Wildcat seems to be all the rage in the NFL. Whether the gimmicky offense has a long shelf life remains to be seen, but its early success could encourage more teams to implement it. Yesterday, Temple head football coach Al Golden took us inside his film room to dissect the Wildcat. And tonight, in the second of our two-part look, Golden and his coordinators take us in the huddle and under center for another unique look at the Wildcat. The offense is trying to come up with a tactical advantage. Right? They're really trying to utilize, uh, utilize one more man. We like it uh, here at Temple because we're, we're, we have the ability to get the ball to all the different uh, athletes on our field at any time. I think really what it is, is it's a chance to uh, implement all the aspects of football and really all the, the eligible ball carriers on the field, you know, into every play. And then the other aspect I think is showing up in the NFL that we've been doing in college for a while is, is the zone option and spread option. So the, the best part about those places is not only getting the ball to the perimeter and, you know, having a chance to have big plays, but it also slows down the pass rush. All right, the first play, uh, it's a zone read with the quarterback and the tailback. The quarterback's going to read the backside defensive end and make a decision from his reaction whether he will hand the football off on the inside zone play or pull it and get to the perimeter and be the primary ball carrier. He'll read his shoulder. If he squeezes or a hard chases inside, he'll pull the football. If he stays outside and isn't going to commit to the running, running play, then he'll hand the football off. In this case, the, the end bent, so he's taking it in the alley. So, and he knows he's on Comcast, so he's trying to make all kinds of tackles. Just as a uh, play action is so effective, you know, because they think it's a, a run, then all of a sudden it's a pass, the Wildcat adds in the, the mystery of who has the football. The next part of the progression is we add in a, a pitch phase. So we're going to utilize a, a wide receiver to go in motion. The quarterback will still use his own read, but then he'll option off a, another defender outside of the uh, formation. So now the ball's getting to the perimeter now, and we're optioning the fourth player. And that's the element that... Uh, the NFL has been a little bit resistant to going to, but you do see a little bit of it now as you, as you watch it. One time they're not paying attention, we have the, the ball pitched, we have the ball handed to a, a really fast guy running down the sideline. This, this final play is uh, our uh, quarterback trap, so he'll simulate the zone option, and now what we're trying to do is just, again, spread the field and get him inside a one-on-one -on -one isolation. So here comes the motion for the third element. Now he's faking the base, and he's just going to take it on a trap inside. They're creating another gap, which you don't have. You have to come up with an answer for. So whether that's uh, you know gap exchange or, or movement or you know getting another guy in there, whatever it may be, um, you have to have multiple answers for it. Um, but you have to make it simple for your players to get in and out of. Right now, one way we talk about doing it is the gap exchange, okay, where we put the defensive end uh, on the running back for the dive and the linebacker. Okay, the linebacker will have the quarterback. Certainly, we're going to count on the on the Mike linebacker and the safeties being on the same page, okay, and then communicating that uh, that's everyone from there. I think it's one of those things that you're hoping that uh, the defense has to spend just as much time preparing. You know, for us, we have to spend about 10 minutes every day with the quarterback on zone option fundamentals, reading the defensive end, and getting out and pitching the ball. In addition to drop back pass, you know, who they're reading. So there is a lot to it. The preparation uh, time on defense is certainly probably more than, than it would be on offense when you start to see uh, these types of uh, exotic formations and those kind of things that, that we talk about. We want to thank Temple football coach Al Golden. That was his quarterback, Chester Stewart, for giving us time and access to break down the Wildcat offense. By the way, did you see our Kevin Flatley right there in the middle? I'm so, you know, is that I part of the Wildcat Kevin. offense? He's Kevin right there the in shot. the middle. He's I right totally, there in the middle. I totally like that. missed it. That was good. Did he get any tackles today? <laughs> no, that's, <the> <laughs> that's right. <laughs>